Hey everybody, welcome back to the Pastor's Post. I just really wanted to do a quick book review, uh, Pastoring Small Towns by Donnie Griggs and Ronnie Martin. If you remember the, the band from the 1990s, Joy Electric, you know who Ronnie Martin is. Um, I forgot who he was because never really got into that type of music. I was more of a ska guy. Sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry for that. Anyway, uh, Donnie Griggs wrote a book a while back called Small Town Jesus, and I thought it was very helpful. He talked about his journey into small town pastoring. He gave some tips that I've actually gained a lot of uh, traction here in my town with. I, I ended up giving that copy of a book of that book away uh, to a friend of mine. Um, don't know if he ever read it or not, <coughs> but... But I do recommend that book by Donnie Gregg, Small Town Jesus. It's it's good. It's a short read, and it has a lot of practical wisdom in there, and you can learn a little bit from his journey as well. Um, pastoring Small Towns, it's got a really nice cover. Um, it feels like those, those books you would get from the school library in third grade, and I like that about it. Um, Donnie's chapters are okay in here. Kind of some of the same wisdom he had with Small Town Jesus, I feel like. A little bit more. He's obviously learned and grown. Um, Ronnie Martin just rubbed me the wrong way. Uh, I'm just going to be honest with you. I, I don't hate Ronnie Martin. I don't dislike Ronnie Martin. I don't know Ronnie Martin. So I will just say his chapters were very weak to me. Um, he begins one chapter. I don't remember which one it was. By talking about his small town. And he says, you know, your small town, you've you've got your central stuff downtown. Yeah, that, it's most small towns. You know, you got your little shops. And then on the outskirts of town, you got your Starbucks and your McDonald's. No, that's not small town ministry. That's medium-sized town ministry. That's bigger city ministry. Um, it may be rural-ish, but that is not small town ministry if you've got a Starbucks or a McDonald's. Uh, in fact, I've said this on Twitter recently, and I believe it with all my heart. If the best breakfast in your town doesn't come from a gas station, you don't live in a small town. Um, in my town, we've got this little gas station called Gordy's. Best sausage, egg, and cheese biscuits you're going to find for hours. I mean, better than anything they have in Fargo, which is an hour away. And they've got Starbucks, McDonald's, IHOP, Denny's, all that stuff. So, I don't know, I just, I when I read Ronnie's chapters, it was kind of like reading from the guy at Bible College that went to Minneapolis, had a Starbucks, and thought he was big city, and so he's going to tell us Hicks how to live in the rural setting, you know, uh, if you're from a small town or a small town Bible College, you know exactly the guy I'm talking about, Um not to put, I'm not putting Ronnie down when I say that. Just that's that's my interpretation of his chapters. He talks about in one chapter how a guy from his church uh, around the time the pandemic was happening and all this, one of his guys uh, lectured him on CRT, uh, critical race theory, and he says, well, apparently I've been teaching this and I didn't even know what it was. Again, if you're teaching critical race theory. If you're, if you're one of those pastors who tells your people to apologize for being white, things like that, uh, you don't belong in ministry. I'll, I'll say that. So, um, yeah, I just, this book was okay, all right? Donnie, Donnie's chapters were fine. Ronnie's, I could have pulled out of the book, and I think I would have saved myself some time. And unfortunately, it feels like Ronnie writes more than Donnie does, so... Uh, I do not recommend pastoring small towns. I just don't. Um, if you want to pick it up and try it out, go right ahead. To me, again, it just it fell flat. Um, Ron, Ronnie Martin is probably a good pastor. And, and maybe he was saying some stuff he was reading in books at the time. I know a lot of people were reading Jesus and John Wayne during the, the pandemic. And they were reading all this other stuff. And people were getting caught up with BLM and... I had a good friend who marched with BLM in, a, in a, another city, and I, I was opposed to that. Definitely don't think you should have done that. They're, I, I personally think they're a, a socialist group. That's what they say they are. Uh, so I believe them when they tell us who they say they are. 
Um, so I don't endorse that in my church. And I actually don't think politics and things like that need to be addressed every Sunday. Uh, maybe that's not what Ronnie was doing. Maybe this guy uh, really just had had his grindstone out that day and wanted to take his pastor to it. And as iron sharpens iron, you know, and maybe Ronnie hadn't been preaching it uh, like he said he had, uh, but it seemed like he, he did. So, so anyway, I say all that to say I just, it was a blah. If you want a, a star rating out of five stars, I'd give it two. Um, and one of those is just for the cover. So, um, yeah, don't, don't waste your time with pastoring small towns, the book. Um, I would recommend a lot of other books about small town ministry. I, I wouldn't recommend this one. Skip it and read something else. Your time's precious and you want to be able to read good things that are going to build up your ministry and build your faith and build your relationship with Christ, build your relationship with your wife with your church people, this ain't it. Sorry. Skip it. In the meantime, hope you guys liked the video. Hopefully I saved you a couple hours of your life. And if you did enjoy this, give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment below. If you are Ronnie Martin, please don't come at me, bro. I just didn't like your writing. It is pers it's it is personal. I just thought it was a waste of my time. But uh, I'm entitled to my opinion. So if you don't like it, make your own video. All right. In the meantime, God bless you guys. And I'll see you in the next one, whenever that might be.